Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I'm talking about DC Legend of Tomorrow, season number 4, episode number 15, Terms of Service. This episode directed by April Mullen. And here we have a whole lot of crazy things going down with the Legends. Okay, we have Constantine. He's in hell. He's trying to find Ray Palmer's soul so he can bring him back to, to save him. That's his plan. That's his, that's what he's trying to do. So the first thing he got to do, he got he to find the big guys. He got to go, go, go to the big demons so he can pretty much tell them what Neuron's doing. Just try to stop him. And he's going he, he gonna to make a deal with them so he can pretty much um, get, get Ray back and then call it a day. And he meets up with... Um, uh, be um be Beelzebub and he also meets up with Satan, Satan and Beelzebub, which is kind of weird because Satan and Beelzebub are the same person, but in this in this version they're two, they're two separate entities, but they're the big the big guys, they're the big guys there. So he goes to them, people must tell them he'll be in service to them, and they they they, they help him get Ray Palmer back. But then they throw a little twink at him. They say, Hey, what about Astra? He's like, what, what what? And then you you realize. Astra was the first person he pretty much kind of like screwed over in a way. To, and so he feels bad about that. And so now he got to make the decision to choose between Astra, this little girl, or Ray. And he goes, oh, no. Oh, Astra been in hell a lot longer than Ray. And he's he looking, he looking at Ray. He's looking at this little, little, this little cute little girl saying, help me, Constantine. He goes, oh, I'm sorry, Ray. And he, and he chooses Astra. And that, but that, that's exactly what they want him to do. Choose Astra. Because Astra is now grown. She's not, she's not the same little girl anymore. And she has been in hell for so long that her, now she is twisted. And she, now she's working for the demons. And 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 and, 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 and the result of trying to save Ray, he ended up pretty much well, screwing him over. And now he's getting punished for it. I was like, oh, oh, that sucks. And then you have what's going on with Gary. Gary had the fairy godmother on his side. And... And all he's trying to do is be play with um play with the legends. That's all he's trying to do. Play play with them. Uh, play with um Sarah, Ava, Nate, Mick. He just want to be their friend. That's all. And every because the thing is though, Ava um you you well uses him, get him to do to do things that he doesn't want to do. Barely pays him half the time, which is really illegal. And I just that on Ava it makes him work overtime. Doesn't pay him for it. I just wow, that's messed up. No wonder he turned snapped on you. Huh. And so all the time, the legends use them and lie to him. And all he wants to do is be their friend. That's all he wants to do. He's a dork. He's a geek. He's not cool at all. He has no social graces, none whatsoever. But, all he, but he sees the legends as cool people. And he just want to be just like them. And every time he tries to connect with them, they pretty much well, they play him and they, or use him or lie to him. And he says, I'm tired of that. And so he pretty much forcing the, the, um, the, um, the fairy godmother to the, the force them to play with him. Which is, kind of, which is even more sad. And the fairy godmother is the one um, um, for him to pretty much punish them and torture them. But that's not what Gary wants to do. He wants to protect them. He still wants to protect them. He's still on their side. He's just that he's lonely. He needs a friend. He needs a hug. He needs, he needs a lot of things. So you got that going on. Then you have what's going on with um, Zari and Charlie. They're working together to try to infiltrate the... Um, the, um, the, um, the um, the the, tri the the time bureau, and they get information there, and just pretty much try to save Mona at the same time too, and but you got um Charlie who's a little bit scared to go there because well, monsters are being hunted down even more that uh, Ray's in charge and he's being possessed by Neuron, and so she doesn't want to go, but but Charlie convinces her to do this, and then eventually and then the thing is though the thing she feared actually happened she got caught. That sucks, and also um. Zari makes a, a trip to her family home and drops off the egg there. The dragon egg. I'm not sure she did it on purpose or not. But to make, it, to make sure it stayed there, but that is what it is. So now Ray is being possessed by Neuron. And then now you have the fairy godmother. They have their plans. And you find out that, 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 that Ray is pretty much, um, well, with Neuron, created an app. And this app, and people, when people download it, they um agree to they pretty much agreeing to down, um, um give up their souls to to neuron. And then the more souls he collects, the more power he has, and the more he can pretty much bring hell on earth. And that's not good for nobody. And then you have the fairy godmother. She needs a trick. She needs to trick somebody to take her place, and so she so she can be free of the whole fairy godmother curse situation. And she managed to do that with Nora. 
Because she, 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 cause she didn't think as though she acted like she's on Nora's side, befriending her, giving her advice, trying to help her out as much as she can on the sly. But in reality, all she's doing manipulating her to get what she wants so she so she can get free and Nora takes her place. And that what happens there too. Yeah. Yeah. But overall, this was a fun episode. I really, I really did enjoy it. Some dark twists and turns, especially going going on in hell with Constantine. You got the whole silliness going on with Gary and the thing. Every time it's, it's hard to take Gary Gary seriously as a threat or, or, or by any means at all. And the things he was pretty much doing to punish them, it was it was just, just silly. It was, just, it, was, it was fun to watch. I mean, he, he made he made Sarah and Ava dance. He made um um Nate look like him when he was in high school. It was just and, Sarah. and then and then Nate, Mick. When you say you could turn into a baby, I thought you were actually going to turn into a baby. All you did was put a pacifier in his mouth. Like, Nick, you can't, you can't, you can't pull it out? Or maybe it was magical. It magically stuck in his mouth, so you couldn't, you couldn't pull it out. Other than that, he was still himself. I mean, it would have been funnier if he made him, like, he had on a diaper, and then that with the little bonnet thing on his head with a bib, and he might have made him, made him go to the bathroom himself. That probably would have been hilarious. But other than that... Eh, it is what it is. But overall, I did enjoy this episode. It's silly. It's goofy. But it's, it's still it's still a whole lot of fun. And and and, and then watching them actually seeing what they have, what all the time they, all the time they pretty much like mistreated Gary and used them. They say, yeah, we kind of at fault this too. Yeah. yeah. Even even Ava when she confessed that she that she had made Gary work overtime and haven't have been paying him, which is really illegal. I just how did you get away with that? And why did Gary go along? The thing is, though, that's, what, that's the sad part about it. Gary's so desperate for a friend. He's so desperate to, to be liked by them that he's willing to, 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 to go through this crap to make them happy. And then they, when they, once they get what they want, they just push Gary aside. Which is really messed up. No wonder he turned bad. Yeah. But bad for Gary. Yeah. Overall, like I said, great episode. Leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Legends of Tomorrow. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it and have fun watching it too. So give my channel a big like, hit the thumbs up, shabam, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really appreciate it. Like I always say, in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.